And welcome back to the ID Machine. You're watching a Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboom. I'm Jim Jim Kaboom, Jim Kaboom, oh yeah. With the Burnhams, it's the Arnhams, it's the Burnham, right from Burnham Park in Bagel. We have the Arnham Jins, Arnham Jins just for the deck, so yeah. This classic creature struck here in many cards with our Armageddon. I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake And you're just quite upset at every single thing we said Everybody knows it's all just in your head Wasted feeling, the wind speaking You know why you crossed the line When I said that you were mine Go and skiing, no hard feelings. Since you will not be my girl, this is the end of my own world. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of the ID Machine of the Snog Guy, Snog Guy, Snog Guy, Earnham and Burnham Keton. Now, this is the history of the Earnham Gin. The Earnham Gin was first released in Arabian Nights way back in 1993. Okay, this is the original version of the Earnham Gin. Uh, there was no Urnham Gidon deck yet because people did not use Urnham. They had access to Juzam the Jin, Serendib Afrit. So they used Juzam and Serendib almost exclusively. And Urnham the Jin was completely ignored. Nobody used Urnham Gidon back then because they were focused on powerful flying cards like Shivan Dragon, Mahamoti Jin, and Serendib Afrit. As Afra mentioned, but these are Arabian Nights. Ernam the Jins, as you can see, the colorless mana symbol almost blends in with the background of a card. So people back then in Arabian Nights would think that this would cost one green mana, but no, it costs four. It's like Juzam the Jin, they thought it cost two black mana, but it actually cost a four with the two generic right up the side, as well as Guardian Beast and all the other Arabian. Knights cards, very beautiful. Hmm, really beautiful Arabian Knights cards. Really uh, super card to find. Slightly played right there. And of course, um, what caused an uproar back then? Because people wanted their cards to go up in value. There were evil investors investing in the game. So, um, which lost accessibility to cards. But Chronicles gave newer players access to the cards because the print runs for Arabian Nights were so low and the cards were super hard to find that new players couldn't get them. And this was the era that I came in. So during Chronicles, Urnham the Jinn not only came out, but it became more affordable. It wasn't as expensive as the Arabian Nights version that we see here. Because these, the price difference between this and this is significant. Okay, it's like a very, very huge disparity in price, but it's the same card. It does the same thing. So, Chronicles reintroduced Urnham the Jinn. Now, you can get these guys for just a couple of cents. Um, but in my case, you could get them for, I got them for like a dollar, I think, for uh, each card. Okay, because nobody plays them now, but way back then, ha, huh, these guys were around five dollars each. Or uh, perhaps around um, $20 for the entire play set if you would get them before. So Earnham the Jins were really, really high in demand. Combine this with Armageddon. Armageddon was another cool card to combo. So it's big creature, mana producers, Armageddon. There you go. Right here in the top loaders. And of course, just loose. This is for the uh, third mono green mini deck. We've got Earnham the Jins as well. For that fur, the weenie and greeny deck, these are loose cards. Yeah, slightly damages. They have a few dings of air, see? I think just like the Arabian Nights ones. These ones have a few dings, but the Arabian Nights ones are in top loaders, so they're, they're more protected. Okay, that's it for today's episode. Once again, this is VID Machine with the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy signing off right now. Or have Get Dawn was big way back then, way back when, in the hours of the night, in the days of 1994, 1994 and 1995, the Earnham Jin was there, Earnham Jin was there, and it was playing, it wasn't there, oh yes. 